We wanted to find out more about who these girls were and what might have drawn them to Syria. So we headed to meet Renu, the older sister of Shamima. Her solicitor, Tasnima Kunji, joined us. Around 9, 10 o'clock, we had three officers come round and then asked where had she gone, you know, what had she dressed, what was she wearing. Uh, the passport was missing and a pair of bangles were missing, which was about two, three hundred pounds. He said at that point that she was in Turkey. My first thought was, what the hell is she doing in Turkey? I wouldn't describe her as adventurous at all. She doesn't like to go by herself to Bethnal Green to buy a pint of milk. For me to think, OK, she's flown all the way to Turkey is just, is just like... An, she liked reading, she liked watching TV, just did normal stuff that normal people do. She was a brilliant student. Not in a million years am I thinking she's gone to run off to join ISIS or something. And was she particularly religious? No, she wasn't. She started wearing a scarf probably in year 10 because my mum asked her to and my mum would kind of have to nag her to pray and she would pray. What possessed her to make that journey is something that we still constantly keep asking ourselves. We're assuming it's all happened through their mobile devices now and maybe in school. To us, it could have only been one of those two places where they actually um, planned all of this. The biggest question for us is where did they get the funding from? to make such a huge trip. and Their pocket money isn't enough to get them out there. So someone else is in on it. Everybody's saying the families must have known. But hold on, the school did know. The police did know. They kept us out of the loop. I understand if, if they were to say, OK, the family should have monitored them more. I agree to that. Maybe we should have kept a closer eye on our kids. But what do we look out for? What is radicalism? How do I know that someone's being radicalised? What are the signs of it? I still don't know. With a lack of faith in the police investigation, the family's lawyers had been collating some potentially relevant details for himself. He was prepared to show us some of what he had found. One of the documents that we found was notes on, on how to pray. So it appears that going from the very, very basic, the very fundamentals, all the way up to moving off uh, on taking a flight to Syria was a very accelerated process. Also, this is not her handwriting. It may well be something that's a relevant line of inquiry for officers. 